Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at how to prepare for ICT, IGCSE in a nutshell. Now let's make this quick. What we'll be looking at today is the syllabus, the textbook, useful sites, links and channels, and ICT path. So now the f syllabus. Now this is the first thing you need to do when you enter IGCSE, ICT. Let's open the syllabus. Now this is the first page of the syllabus. I'll put the link in the description, so don't worry. Now when you open the this, uh, syllabus, the first thing you need to look do is look at the content overview. Now the content overview is basically all the topics that you'll be looking at during your P uh, ICT, IGCSE. After doing that, you need to look at the papers you'll be writing. So we write paper 1, paper 2 and paper 3. Paper 1 is th theory, paper 2 and paper 3 is practical. Paper 2 consists mostly of document production, database and presentation. And paper 3 is uh, spreadsheets and website authoring. Now once that is done, this is the most important part that you need to look at the subject content. The subject content basically tells us everything you need to know about a particular topic. So let's say we have topic 1, types and components of computer systems. So under 1.1 hardware and software, these are all the notes and guidance that have been given and everything you need to know. Okay, moving on. The syllabus is done. And then, oh wait, I forgot to mention this. In the syllabus, you need when you scroll down all the way, make sure to read the whole part of the syllabus. You need to look at the changes to the syllabus content. You have, you, this basically tells us everything that has changed between the last few years that is new this term that you'll be writing. All right, next is the textbook. Now, which textbook is the best? Now, this is the textbook I use personally, and it is super lengthy but super informative. Now let me just show you the textbook this is the textbook the first page as you can see we have all our contents all our topics over here and then just tells us how to use the book and the introduction and then it goes on and explains the whole, all the topics that is that for the textbook now moving on this is the most important thing you need as an ICT student links sites and YouTube channels now the useful sites and links that I'm giving you all is oh sorry it's yeah all right so the first is GCE guide now the GCE guide is where we have all the past papers for ICT varying from 2010 to 2022 okay let's open 22 let me show you guys over here it shows us all the papers for March and for June as you can see we have our source files here question paper paper one paper two paper three and all their mark schemes over here then this is extra information GCE guide is not only for ICT is for every single subject as you can see any subject you do whether it's commerce or science it's all there every subjects past papers are all there so this is one of the most important websites that you need to be using now next up we have save my exams now we, all these ICT students that are going to be writing their um, ICT exams are very privileged to have this most of like in the previous years students didn't uh, I see um, save my exams didn't give ICT notes but this time this is something new the save my exams has started for ICT over here you get all the notes let me just show you one for hardware and software as you can see the notes are completely free it's all that it gives you work examples and all the most important things that you need to know uh, in that in that particular chapter all right moving on now not only notes but we also get past papers let's just click and get started now this is the specimen paper for 2023 which a lot of people don't have so you can get it you can get its access from here as you can see we have paper one paper two and paper three we have their mark team and their source file now for now we only have these two but then as time moves ahead uh, save my exams are going to be adding more of these so make sure to check them and now the last but not the least is ICT lounge one of the greatest ICT websites of all time as you can see we have all of it over here we have pra practice theory test practice practice a practical practice booklet and practice practical test it's all here make sure to use this this is one of the best websites for ICT moving on oh sorry forgot to tell you now this is something that most people are not aware of znotes.org when you go you get you can use this now this is updated only to the 20 
2017 syllabus not to the 2023 so some of it may be old but then this is one of the best now this be this note basically summarizes every single thing in the, your chapter to very small things like it just summarizes the whole topic as you can see so all your 17 topics just summarize down to 50 50 pages that's all so make sure you have this printed now this is something also just print this notes because they really help i personally as an ict student i have it printed and I use it every day when i'm studying for ict now let's look at oops youtube channels that you need to know now come on obviously you need to be watching my videos let me show you as you can see my videos i have been posting constantly ict videos like ict 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 then again chemistry ict Okay, no, this is for the whole of IGCSE, chemistry, biology, um, ICT, biology, and then what else? Chemistry. Now, this is this is what I'll be coming to talk about, uh, ICT practicals. As you can see, I have been making ICT practical videos as well. I go over how to solve these papers. So, very important. Then physics, ICT again. So, basically, my channel is not only focusing on ICT, but all the other subjects. So make sure you like, share and subscribe to my channel. Alright, end this video of course. So as you can see, I have more videos loading. And then the videos never end. So you make sure you like, share, subscribe. Oh, I just said that thing. Never mind. Moving on to the next channel is Edubay. Now this channel is similar to my channel, which focuses not only on ICT but all the other subjects. So definitely need to be watching these videos. Last but not the least, Yamad ICT. Now, if you ask any previous year ICT student, he definitely knows ICT Yamad because his channel was basically the root of all ICT channels. But unfortunately, due to some copyright issues, his channel was removed. But I recently contacted him and he said he'll be posting videos again. And this is basically his new YouTube account, so make sure to subscribe as well. So, yes, these are some videos he has started uploading. So, now these are three. Uh, YouTube channel that you definitely need to be watching for ICT, IGCSC. Now next up is practical paper. Now this is something that most people have difficulties with. Now, yes, so basically, let me just show you. What you need to do is go to ICT uh, GCE guide and be solving these papers like paper 2-1, paper 3-1 and we have their source files with them. And again, what you can do is, as I mentioned earlier, you can be watching my me solving past papers as I walk through them like this is 2021 2020 paper 2 one again I also do live videos as I can see with commentary solving ICT paper 2 practical so now that is something you can be doing and these are just some of them as time moves ahead I'll be posting more of them and let me look what else is there oh I guess that's it make sure to like share subscribe and if you have any questions you can gmail me or comment and all in the comment section which is free to use if you didn't know just joking all right so that's it all the best in your igcse ict make sure to like share subscribe and i'll see you in the next video oh wait before i go you still haven't liked the video haven't you and subscribe so just subscribe bro till then see you in the next video Ta -da.